Sound design tutorials. Let's go. Trap Tendo. What is going on, guys? DJ Av here. Smash the like button, and we have another synth basic tutorial here. So we're gonna learn how to do a saw lead in Electra 2. But this version right here in particular is Electra 2.5. So if there are things that you cannot do with your Electra, it's time for you to go to tone2.com and up date your Electra because there's a lot of good stuff that came out of this update here. Um, so first off, I am going to start with an initial preset here and all you have to do is go into INIT here and select reset all and it will reset everything. There we go. So uh, how's the sound? Yeah, I'm gonna go again. I have a weird bug in my Tone 2 Electra. I've talked to Tone 2 about it. But anyway, so already the default sound is a sawtooth. But if you notice here, if I was to mess with this pulse whip right here, it will go into a triangle. So what we're gonna do instead of uh, dealing with that issue, we're gonna go and select an ultra saw. So you're already there. So you already have a saw lead. As you notice, the volume is very low. It's just one of those things in Tone 2 that you have to deal with, so you just raise the volume. And, now, and then you already have it here. So one of the main things that I covered within the first tutorial within Serum is messing with the unison voices. So if you want to add more unison voices, you'll mess with this pulse width over here. So if I was to add that in there. See, I added more voices into that. Uh, but one thing I want to point out about Electra 2 when you're making your saw leads or whatnot is that you got a ton of different saw leads to choose from. Even better, you have a Super Saw JP, which is supposed to be like an emulation of the Roland Super Saw, which is supposed to be the grandmaster of them all. So, as you can see here, as is displayed here, you see the universal voices are very far apart. It's detuned. And when it's like that in the pulse width here, um, of course it's not harmonically sound in terms of like the pitch. So what you wanna do is just dial it back. And when you dial it back, you, you will notice that the voices will sound thicker and more constant in the middle. Then if I was just to go and do like that. See that, that it changes. That saw lead changed as I did that. So you might want to do that, of course. But, so, just like any other VST that's out, uh, one of the things that you want to get used to doing and when you're making your saw leads, especially like in Future Bass, uh, you might want to do something like this, which is exclusive to Electra 2.5, which is drag and drop modulation. So I just grabbed the LFO, and I mapped it to the cutoff right here, and let's hear how it sounds. So now it's on trigger, and that's not really uh, what I'm aiming for. Uh, I want it to be a part of the BPM, so I have a choice between song BPM, which will play. So if I was to stop it right here, the it will continue from that particular point until it goes through this whole entire cycle. You see that? Um, but if I choose trigger BPM, it will always start at the beginning. You see that? Uh, that's, that's the difference between those two modes here. Um, you also can select uh, different uh, LFOs from this right here. And then for those who uh, want more from, like if you wanna know more about Electra, you can search my channel. Of course, I've done a full overview about that as I mess, through the, uh, mess with this oscillator over here. So you can learn about these different modules. Anyway, so now I select a sign. You, you can press and, oops, I didn't mean to do that. You can select different uh, shapes through here. You have your different uh, shapes that you can select. I'm gonna just stay with sign here over triangle. <laughs> And if it's going too slow, of course, you can mess with the LFO speed or rate. Now, you have noticed something, and I'm pretty sure, and I didn't cover this in the other tutorial, but um, you'll notice that the volume drops as it goes through a filter, which is the same if you use the mess with like analog gear in terms of like uh, using the 
the VCF. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press, I'm gonna mess with this drive knob here. Nothing happened and I'll, I'll tell you why. Cause you see right here, you have an off button. What you're gonna do, you need to engage something like tube and then that is like a particular type of distortion or saturation for that filter. So let's hear that. So it's real subtle. So what I could do is I can just go all out and just uh, go and select crush and I'll get something really interesting for you guys. As you can see right here, I don't know why I did that. I accidentally uh, hit something. But uh, anyway, so now that we have that sound over here, um, you notice that it changed because of the saturation that I had put into that filter. Uh, of course, you might still want to add volume uh, to that particular sound that you have created. But I, I'll, I'll leave it at that there. Uh, of course, you can add effects by going to this insert effects when you select uh, on the off button here. Uh, you can select a whole bunch of different effects for your saw lead and one of them is reverb hall And as you can see it got really big here and it's good and reverbs are good for Expressing the overall presence of that's that lead uh, that you're creating there So to keep that in mind you can also change whatever filters that you want, you know Maybe you might want to high pass and it'll sound kind of weird but you know, that's not really what you want to do uh, there. But one thing that you'll notice uh, about right here is the modulation matrix. I'm not gonna really go into that much detail because I have already, uh, again, go to search my channel for like Electra uh, overview or walkthrough. So, and let me know in the comment section if you want me to do an updated version, breaking out each and every part of this VST, of this uh, soft synth. So, yeah, so we had this modulation matrix right here. You see the LFO one is right there. That's one of the that's one of the sources here, and we're gonna it's already mapped to the cutoff. Uh, what you'll see right down here is the amount. You can select this amount and reduce how much of the filter is being ran through the LFO. So. Of course, when I go up to 100, I'm gonna have to uh, turn that cutoff down for it to be able to be affected. But I'm gonna go back into uh, low pass because that just makes more sense. And I'm gonna dial it in. So, you know, that's your wobble saw lead right there. Um, yeah, but that's basically about it. I don't think there's much else for like saw leads in Electra other than your imagination. Of course, you have three oscillators to play with and also that is multi-layered. So you can imagine the crazy amount of, of uh, flexibility in terms of your creativity uh, where you can make a sound become something really insane. And then you have a pitiator right here. But anyways. <laughs> That's about it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what you want to know next about this or design in, in synth basics here because I want you guys to get a good grasp on this stuff. I don't want y'all to be out in the whim and hold all these secrets and stuff like that. So ask me in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if this is your first video. It'll only get better. I always read the comment section. I'm DJ Av here, and I'm going to hit y'all with that stamp. Crabtendo.